गुड गुड मॉर्निंग फैम इट इज़ सैटरडे फोर्थ नवंबर 8:57 एम जल्दी उठ रहे जल्दी शुरू कर रहे बिकॉज आई नीड टू टेक द टेन आवर फॉर सर्विस यू मस्ट हैव सीन द टाइटल एंड अंडरस्टूड ऑलरेडी एंड हमें बहुत दूर जाना है लेट्स फायर ऑफ द बाइक आई एक्सप्लेन द रेस्ट ऑफ इट ऑन द वे देर वी नीड टू गो टू जेंजिन हु इज़ अ क्लोज फ्रेंड ऑफ आर्स एंड ही इज़ द गाय दैट बी डूइंग आर सर्विस गुड मॉर्निंग यू छू वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो जैसे कि मैं बोल रहा था पेनार को सर्विस में देनी है वो राइडिंग सीजन शुरू हो चुका है इसको चूल चढ़ गई है अभी स्कोडा को सो एनी वेज राइडिंग सीजन शुरू हो चुका है एंड uh, खर्चे ही खर्चे होने वाले हैं क्योंकि द बाइक हैज टू बी ब्रॉड बैक टू गुड रनिंग कंडीशन ईयरली सर्विस है ये लास्ट ईयर भी मैंने जैन के पास ही कराया था सर्विस सो बेसिकली जैन जिन इट सेल्फ ये डन इट तभी लोकेशन कुछ और था इस बार uh, थोड़ा दूर जाना पड़ रहा है ये बेचारे ऑक्टोवे को इतनी चुल मची है ना भाई साहब बाकी बच सामने की साइड पे देखो ट्रैफिक देखो यही टेंशन रहता है भाई और ये मशीन पे ना ये हाथी पे ऐसी ट्रैफिक आप अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते और ना ओवर हीट होकर सीधा बंद पर इस बार वी हैव टू गो टू हिज ऑफिशियल शॉप विच इज जेंजिन एंड भाई बंदा बहुत प्यारा काम करता है वहाँ पे पहुँच के ऑफकोर्स मैं आपको सब इंट्रो इंट्रो सब कराऊंगा एंड आल शो ऑल वॉट इज लाइक बट फिलहाल जो ट्रैफिक की थोड़ी हालत दिख रही है ना टेंशन आ रहा है द ओनली इश्यू इज कि उसकी जो दुकान है इज एट मीरा रोड द ऑफिशियल वन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट नाउ सो बैंड्रा टू मीरा रोड लंबा स्ट्रेच हो जाता है एंड लंबा स्ट्रेच का प्रॉब्लम नहीं है दिस बाइक्स आर बिल्ड फॉर दैट बट द ट्रैफिक इज द इश्यू एंड बॉम्बे की ट्रैफिक अगर आप आपने सुना होगा तो यू वेरी वेल नो हाउ डिजास्टरस इट इज आते टाइम भी कुछ अगर दोपहर का टाइम होगा दो बजेंगे या ऐसा कुछ तो बेटर रहेगा क्योंकि आई कैन फिनिश ऑफ एंड कम बैक वेल द रोड इज क्लियर वरना वो ऑफिस का जाम मिल गया या तो पार्टिंग का जाम मिल गया सैटरडे का तो हम डेड ए बच्चा लोग पागल हो गए बाइक देख के इनफ टाइम टू सॉट ऑफ चेकआउट या बाइक हम लोग छोटे होते थे ना मतलब ऐसे पलक झपकते ही सुबह बाइक सामने से निकल जाती थी और वो पकड़ नहीं पाते थे अगर आपको पता है एक इस मूवी का डायलॉग है तो कमेंट्स में जरूर बताना मैप मेरा मेरे को फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स दिखा रहा था मेरे को लगा फोर्टी फाइव तो नहीं लगेगा ऑल राइट ऑलरेडी एट बोरेवली क्या मक्खन की तरह क्लच पे छूटते है यार ये Zen Jin is here. Oh, look at that beautiful little gate. Hello, Zen, my G, my boy. All right, fam. So we made it to the workshop. You can see Zen Jin at the back. Uh, I am waiting for uh, his guy to come as well as him. They usually open at 10:30, but he said, "Bhai, ab 10 baje tak aa jao because you'll get the traffic and all that after that." So, abhi rukte unke liye and uh, we'll head inside. I'm really curious to see his setup. I've never seen the actual Zen Jin store ka setup, so let's see. All right, so Hussain sir is here. Hussain sir, say hi to the vlog. Hi. What time is Zain coming? Five ten minutes. Okay. 
and that's actually Zain Bhai's Daytona that he rides on uh, the track. So, बच्चे लोग को round चाहिए था भाइयों आपका नाम बता दो पहले. Vishal और ठीक है एक-एक करके जाएंगे हाँ और tension मत लेना ज़्यादा थोड़ा पकड़ के बैठना बस. रुका समझाता हूँ आराम से. कौन आ रहा है पहले? आ जाओ चलो दोनों को मिलेगा कोई स्ट्रेस नहीं है ठीक है भाई मेरे को यहाँ पे पकड़ ठीक है छोड़ना नहीं बैठे भाई ठीक है यार किसी के चेहरे पे अगर मुस्कान आ जाती है तो अच्छी बात है पकड़ के रखा कैसा था मजा आया डर लगा थोड़ा नहीं ठीक है चल मजा आया विच वन इज दिस नाइन नाइन सिक्स क्लासिक Alright guys, so we are officially at Zenjin. This is Zen Bhai's uh, own workshop. Very very proud of him to have started this himself. And you get to see some beautiful bikes here. Bas abhi Zen Bhai ka intezar hai. And uh, kaam shuru karte hai. Unse bohut saari baat chit karne hai. Aur bohut questions puchne hai. And the myth, the legend. How are you, good boy? Good, good. So the bike is going out. Zen is going to take a test ride on it. He's here, and we're going to start work. उनको थोड़ा अंदाजा आ जाए कि what issues are there. If there's anything else that needs to be addressed. What is the wording? Sure, the air filter is choked just like last time. Really? Things like. I I felt the slight judder in the. Yeah, the the pull is not there actually, but tires have bad. Yeah, yeah. I I I I rode it off traction control. Okay. So, of course, when you go when you go on throttle, it's sliding. Sliding all the way. I I felt that even on the. But the real concern is it is sliding even when I'm changing direction. Ouch. So even when I'm doing from your to your, it wants to it wants to slide even without throttle. Oh, that is dangerous yeah. because that means your traction control cannot save you. Like so if you do a really fast uh, uh, change of direction, Nanova. especially if you're trying to avoid something, stop. Everything else. Please. And while you're uh, while we're recording this, what is your take on the Vredestins? As I asked you, a lot of people have this question because of course they're manufactured, you know, out here and there's there's a lot of uh, this around it, like. Are they worth the, you know, can can it handle a thousand cc power? Can it handle a six hundred power? That kind of thing. In very simple terms, they are value for money. Okay. Uh, you get what you pay for. Right. Um, are they going to match the performance level of a Pirelli or a Metzler? Probably not. Hundred percent. But the Pirelli and Metzler cost. Uh, you know, 40-50 percent more. Right. Than what the world has changed to. Also, a question now, as I asked you earlier. Um, You've been on track. Okay, your skill set is probably way above what I am riding at. I am doing, say, you know, a charoti run or something like that, just out of the city for a Sunday Sunday ride. So that is the reason I ask you, what, in your opinion, as a track rider, when you've experienced, you know, all the different sets of tires and stuff, what do you think about the predestines for a for a say intermediate rider? You know, not not really pushing my uh, absolute max, but what what would you? Uh, they come in two variants. So you got the touring and the NS. If you NS, go for sir. if you go for the NS, the difference is it needs a little bit of warm up time and a little bit of getting used to. The grip is not what you will be known for when you don't know grip. Exactly my point. See, that's what I'm saying, Zen. Yeah. See, for somebody that's coming from you know like having literally no tires on, to yeah, yeah. say so. So for you, it's going so that, like I said, 
if you are saying that you know if i have to put the pirelli there wait another 6 months right not worth it okay uh, okay better than that and and one more small question while we are at the topic of tires what tire pressure would you suggest for someone like me i know it's very it's a very broad uh, topic but just a rough estimate you know for somebody that likes a little more contact patch a little more grip but of course not not uh, we're not running uh, race pressures so what would you suggest what's your weight uh, i am roughly say uh, hold around 80 ish if you are 80 ish and you want grip hmm. uh, the base pressures i would recommend is a 34 36 okay perfect it's going to be towards the grippy end okay not towards ex uh, life like life of the tires right not that right. but but I am going to tell you a system to you and your viewers as well. Okay. Which is what I tell everyone. All right. Don't go by what pressures I am telling you. Don't go by what pressures the manufacturer. Figure it out ourselves. Figure it out. I ourselves. I figure that. So and the system to do that is this, right? You figure out the road that you regularly ride on. Okay. okay. Got it. Yeah. Along that road, uh, same time of the day, same riding style. Right. Right. You try different pressures. Pressures, yeah. So let's say today you are riding on that road, you set your tires to 36, 36 front and back. Start with even. Oh, okay. Start with even pressure. Okay. 36, 36 front and back. Okay. Next time you ride, move it up or two. Move it up by two PSI. Two, then drop it again it by feel two. Feel better, will it not feel better? It right. felt better. Okay, let's go to 39, 39. Right. Did it feel better? No, not feel better. Drop, okay. it, drop it again. Drop to 38. Is it that big one? Yes. Drop, 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 That's drop, the drop. same thing that basically Dave Moss has uh, mentioned yeah. in his yeah. video. That yeah, that is his system. Yeah. Right. Public demand pe na, you have to do one thing, ha, boss. Ha, cha. Public demand. Ha, public demand pe, boss. You got, you know, you, how much demand there is in town and stuff. When, when is the shop opening? Uh, whenever I find a, see, there are two possible ways that I can do that. One, hmm. I find a place that is almost rent free. Oh. <laughs> you know how expensive Bombay yeah, is to that's rent. True, that's true. Or two, I get clients who play, pay me exorbitant amounts of money so I can afford rent. Hmm. <laughs> but no, there is, there is definitely a need for workmen like you out there because we definitely know the lack of quality in you know servicing big bikes and stuff like that because the internal resistance is high hmm. if you just let go of the clutch the rear wheel is going to slide okay right it's all not going to grip hmm. so hmm. what do they do what they do is they time the letting go of the clutch and how they land Jump. on the bike together okay so their ah. downward forces puts grip on the wheel and hmm. at the same time they let go of let the go the bike to rotate the engine Oh, that means I've always wondered why you know the, 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 why why they jump on the bike <laughs> to sort of get it started. Time to drain the oil, engine oil. Yep. What are the conditions then? Not too bad. No? Nah? What is the scene on the air filter? Oh Jesus. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> So that's what the new the new oil filter. Yeah. And we're using what this time you said? High flow. Uh, okay. Maxima extra four. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the brake calipers getting service. So the very reason I come all the way from Bandra to Zen out here is because this man has absolute attention to detail. The smallest things on the bike are worked on. Um, usually, you see, if the brakes are service, hoti hai, wo brake cleaner mar denge and you know it's done. This guy will check all the pistons, all the four pistons in a four pot caliper. Make sure all of them are sort of working properly, looped up, all of that. And the attention to detail is nuts. Secondly, as a superbike owner, I want to know, as, as I mentioned even in my previous vlog for my car, I want to know what is going on with my vehicle. And this man will let me stand there. He'll answer all your questions to the T. And the amount of knowledge he has is fabulous. You stand there, watch your bike get serviced, learn about your own bike, you know at least what the um, what to expect in the next service. He'll tell you, okay, okay, this is coming up, that is coming up. So it is a very um, a very precise sort of um, experience that you get. So now what we've got is he's connected up the brake bleeding hose. Uh, with this, is it called a suction machine or vacuum? Bolte, kya bolte? vacuum yeah. One of the boys just told me it's called a vacuum bleeder, specifically called a vacuum bleeder. She will basically pull out all the air and bleed the brakes as well. We'll get incredible touch on the uh, lever because 
it's going to do it with machine accuracy right that push fluid goes down and presses against the brake pads which press against the disc create friction stop you from dying basically basically yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it <laughs> or, does. on bikes like these at least yeah exactly so okay. there's a way to do it manually there's a way to do it automatically i'll show you how to do it automatically we've been doing the manual system for quite for a decades and, for uh, decades and our brakes have been spongy and soft <laughs> No, so I mean, you can do the manual process and still achieve great achieve great results. Great yes, hundred percent. But it just takes much longer. Long, longer. Right. Yeah. All right, my boy. Thank you once again for a beautiful job. Most welcome. See you soon for a lot more. Yes. Yes. He's given me a whole list of stuff that is left to do. So yes, but thank you. Super service. Right. Love it. Thank you. And thank uh, you. soon in town. Yes, sir. All right, fam. Been a long, long day. Sham ke kuch aad bajra, and uh, service ho gayi. Bike is running like a charm as as expected. Brakes are next level uh, on performance because of the the electronic bleeding, the the vacuum bleeding, and uh, bus. What lagne wali hai? Because traffic hai Western Express Highway pe, so we are trying to just get home for now. It's been a long day. I am exhausted. I will talk to you straight at home. All right, fam. ये vlog end करना ही भूल गया था. भूल तो नहीं गया था, पर इतना थक चुका था कि मैं बोला कि किसी और दिन कर देता हूँ, बाद में कर दूँगा. So, anyways, vlog पसंद आया हो, informative लगा हो, आपके थोड़े से questions answer हुए हो, तो ज़रूर like करके जाओ. Uh, turn on the bell notifications uh, that will notify you when my next vlog comes out. Thanks का button भी available है for those that want to support the channel. And there are also memberships that also helps the channel out a lot. Stick around, stay blessed, keep putting in the work. I will see you guys in the next one.